is nearer than the persecutor. He is nearer than the man or the woman that you may fear. He says, there shall no man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. I received that. I got it. It is mine. As I was with Moses, so I will be with thee. I will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. Be strong and of a good courage. Be strong and of a good courage. Actually, that is the very foundation and a solid ground upon we to build every other thing. Without courage, we will not take a step. Without courage, Joshua will not face the Canaanites. Without courage, you'll be weak in yourself. Without courage, you'll be nursing the wound of yesterday. Without courage, your vision will be blurred and the revelation will be cloudy. Without courage, you'll not even want to rise up in the morning and get out of bed. Without courage, will be nothing. And it says, be strong and of a good courage. For unto these people shalt thou divide for an inheritance the land which I swear unto thy fathers to give them. Only be thou strong and very courageous. You see that again? It talks about being strong and being courageous. And it repeats it again. Be strong and very courageous. Whatever knowledge you have without courage, that knowledge will be in the cold room, will be in the fridge, will be in the freezer. It's not edible, it's not useful, it's not profitable. You will not have strength in your backbone without courage. There's no strength in your voice without courage. There's no strength in your decision without courage. We need courage. And so that's why God said in verse 7, he said, only be thou strong and very courageous that thou mayest observe to do, to obey, to carry out, to keep, all the law which Moses my servant commanded thee. Why do we hear so much and we do so little? Lack of courage, lack of courage. Our problem is not lack of knowledge. We have the knowledge. We know when to say no. We know when to resist the enemy. We know when to forge ahead and grab and grip what the Lord has ordained, but it's the lack of courage that makes us not to be able to do what he has appointed for us to do. He says, turn not from it to the right hand. When you do that, you're weak in your conviction. Or to the left, that thou mayest prosper whithersoever thou goest. The book, this book of the law, shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. Why? Meditating, meditating, meditating on the word of God gives us confidence, gives us courage. While you are at home inside your chamber, you have gone over the pages of scripture. You have meditated on the promises of God. You have meditated on the power of God. You have meditated on the, on, the, on the precepts of God. You have meditated on the possibilities with God. Before you came out of your chamber, you're already a giant, a champion. And so when you come out, all the things you see and the people you see, they do not become an overwhelming Goliath over you because you have read, you have applied, you have meditated on the word before coming out. It says that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein, for then thou shalt make, thou shalt make, is in your hand, thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then somebody there tell me, 
I shall have good success. Have I not commanded thee, verse 9, be strong and of a good courage? That's the third time, verse 6, verse 7, verse 9. Be strong and of a good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee whithersoever thou goest. And the church said, Amen. Amen. If you look at verse 9, once again, if you were to turn that to prayer, Lord, you have commanded me. The highest authority on earth has, has commanded me. The highest authority among angels has commanded me. And the command is clear. And what I am to do is clear. Lord, have you not commanded me? I am going in the strength of that command. And because you have commanded me and you said I should be strong, it means I have the way with her to be strong. You couldn't command me to be something I could not be. You told me, be strong. Lord, I am strong. I am strong. I'm of a good courage. I will not fear a little baby that was born last week. I will not fear a little child that started going to primary school just uh, last month. I will not fear a young man, a teenager that is just finding out how life is. You commanded me to be strong. Lord, I am going to be strong. I'm going to be of a good courage. And you say, be not afraid. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I'm not afraid of anything behind the curtain. I'm not be afraid of anything around me. I'm not afraid of anything invisible I'm not afraid of all the conspiracies of Satan and those demons I'm not afraid neither be dismayed Lord I'm not dismayed my heart is clear my mind is clear I know the way I am going and I'm going to reach there and then he says for the Lord thy God is with thee whithersoever thou goest thank you Lord you are with me you are by my side you're in front of me you're ahead of me you're on top of me underneath me are the everlasting hands lord i thank you i praise you that i'm not going to fail in the work you have committed into my hands you are reading and praying through what you are reading that's why we need to take the scriptures more seriously and as we do this you'll be stronger you'll be higher and you'll be fearless in doing the work of the lord in jesus name i want an amen from the church the message, the supernatural victory of God's commissioned servants. Three things we're looking at. Number one, the collective consideration of their great commission. Their great commission for all of them to collectively consider together the collective consideration of their great commission. Point number two, the contagious courage of a godly conqueror. The contagious courage of a godly conqueror. If a leader is courageous, the followers will be courageous. If the shepherd is courageous, the sheep, the saints, the members of the church will be courageous. If the pastor is courageous, the people will be courageous. But smite the shepherd. And let the shepherd become a weakling, somebody that does not have any backbone. Smite the shepherd and let the shepherd become like an amphibian. It's neither here nor there. And the rest of the people following, they will not have courage. But if the leader has courage, if the pastor has courage, if the parent has courage, if the champion leader has courage, then the followers will be courageous because courage is contagious. When a godly conqueror is leading the way, thank God that courage will spill over to you. Point number three, the constant companionship of a glorious captain. The constant companionship of our glorious captain. Point number one, 
the collective consideration of their great commission. Joshua chapter 1 verse 3. Every place that the sole of your foot shall tread upon, that have I given unto you. As I said unto Moses, he's talking to the children of Israel collectively. And so, Joshua, if you mobilize all the children of Israel and their army in particular, and you make them tread everywhere, and you tell them the direction to go, you go here, you go there, you go here, you go there, and the feet of the army of the children of Israel stand in any place, you have possessed that place. Collective consideration in our church, if we look at our states, if we look at this state in particular, we look at all the local governments, we look at all the various divisions, and we put a local church there, a local church. We're not waiting for members before we do that. We put something, there's something, there's something there. And our foot will tread in that place. And the transmission center will tread in that place. And the voice of the gospel will show, will come up in that place. And there's a women ministry there. There's a children ministry there. There's campus ministry there. There's youth ministry there. And there's the local church there where we'll possess the land. From the wilderness and this Lebanon, from the wilderness, the remote areas, the places where even maybe some amenities have not got to. And it says, even to the great river, and we get to the borders and the shores of those rivers, the river Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites, all the places the Hittites have said, we're here, our religion will stay here, our religion will occupy the land. No, they were there because we have not come. Once we come, Satan will relocate. Once we come, evil spirits will relocate. Once we come, all those occultic people, all the people that are troubling the people, oppressing the people, will tell them to go. Light has come, darkness must vanish away. And it says, unto the great sea, toward the going down of the sun, shall be your coast. It shall be our coast. I'll be there. You'll be there. There shall no man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. You've gone to a place and you're planting the church there. There must be a deeper life church in that place you have been passing by and you have never seen deeper life church there. Deeper life is coming there. We tried, we could not. It's because you didn't read verse 5. We tried, they drove us away. It's because you didn't kneel down and read verse 5 and pray through verse 5 that no man shall be able to stand before you when you take the word of God and you hold on to the promise that cannot fail. Show me where is the man, where is the woman that will stand before you. They'll carry their shrine out of that place. They were run away with all the things they have, everything they have planned. They'll carry all those sheds away from there. God will establish you there. And God will establish the gospel there. There shall no man, there shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. All the days of thy life. Somebody shout, all the days of thy life. You know, there are people, if you call them, brother, can you do this? He says, sir, you know, if you called me 20 years ago to do that, I will jump at it. But old age is coming, and weakness is coming. I can barely stand, today you will stand. I can barely walk, today you will walk. All the evidence of the old man, old age, that will not allow you to rise up, 
that will not allow you to move into the territory God has appointed for you. The Lord is going to remove everything from your life tonight in Jesus' name. He says, as I was with Moses, as I was with Moses, before the rock where there was no water, as I was with Moses, before Pharaoh who said, you will not see my face anymore, as I was with Moses, and before Og and Bishan, and then he gave the command, and all of them were destroyed and conquered as I was with Moses. And he raised up his sand, he raised up his rod, and Joshua was conquering. And when he laid down the rod, the Amalekites were conquering. And he raised up the hand permanently, permanent victory came as I was with Moses. I can't hear your amen. As I was with Moses before the Red Sea, that Red Sea will part before you. Jordan will divide before you. He says, so will I be with thee. I will not fail thee. I will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. You see, there are some people, when they read their Bible, because they don't, they don't read with uh, both eyes, they close uh, the right eye and they read with the left eye. So all they can see there is what they can see with their left eye. The other people will close their left eye and then they will read with the right eye. All they can see is what you have in the right, what you see with the right eye. Open both eyes your eyes will see what eyes have never seen what ears have never heard what has never entered into the heart of man what god has prepared for them that love him i can see something the giant in you is going to rise up look at hebrews chapter 13 hebrews chapter 13 were bred on the left eye Old Testament, we're reading with the right eye. New Testament, we're combining both together. Open both of your eyes. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5. Let your conversation be without covetousness. Be content with all things as ye have. For he has said, what did he say? I said, what has he said? I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. What, that's what he said in Joshua chapter 1, verse 5. I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. He said it also in the New Testament. And it's our collective, our collective uh, great commission. And as we're moving on, we're going to possess. Somebody there said we're going to possess. Look at Psalm 2. We're reading from verse 8. Psalm 2. We're reading from verse 8 ask of me and i shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance ask of me and i shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance and the uttermost part of the earth for thy possession can we possess this country can we take it away from the hands of the people who are usurping authority over the country? Can we take the gospel everywhere? Can we penetrate every part of the gospel? Can we all agree together? We're going to ask the Lord, and according to the promise that will not fail, the Lord will give unto us. Ask of me. Forget the devil. Ask of me. Forget the demons. Ask of me. Forget the intruders. Ask of me. Forget the people that are unlawfully sitting on the hearts of the people. Ask of me. And I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance. I see the fulfillment coming. I see the possession coming and the uttermost parts of the earth and the uttermost parts of the earth and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession you must possess 
I said you must possess. What is the possessor there? It's going to happen. In your lifetime, it's going to happen. By the grace of God, it's going to happen. In the power of the Spirit, it's going to happen. You possess in Jesus' name. Point number two, the contagious courage of a godly conqueror. The contagious courage of a godly conqueror. We're coming to Joshua chapter 1, verse 6. Be strong and of a good courage. Look up here. If a child of God sits down by the side of the road, drops his head, and is weeping and weeping and weeping and crying, and he has the Bible in his hand, but he closes the Bible, I am discouraged. I am weak. I don't have strength. I cannot go on anymore. The Lord will look at him and pass by. He's not taking the pill that God has given him that will make him strong, that will transfer heaven's energy into his life. And he's sitting down there like an orphan. I am not an orphan. I have a father in heaven. Is the creator of the heavens and the earth. I be God in heaven is the one that makes the weak strong. I be God in heaven is the creator of the heavens and the earth. And if there's any sickness, any weakness, is he can take everything away in one moment of time. You have a father in heaven, he will not leave you alone, he will not abandon you by the wayside. And he has told you he has something for you. He says, get this and be strong. Swallow this and be courageous. Get this one inside you and uh, meditate on the word of God. I've given you that word is a creative word. It has creative power. It will recreate you tonight in Jesus' name. Be strong. I am strong. I am strong and of a good courage, for unto these people shall thou, 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 the work the Lord has given you, nobody else will do it. The assignment God has for you, nobody else will replace you. Yes, God has a thousand people that can do that work, but he has decided in heaven that you are the one to do it. I will. Somebody there, I will. You will in Jesus' name. Thou shalt divide for an inheritance the land, which I swear unto their fathers to give them. Only be thou strong. Only, you don't need any other thing. Be thou strong. Only be thou strong and very courageous. If you are strong and courageous, you will see the victory. You'll possess the land. You'll have everything the Lord has for you in Jesus' name. That thou mayest observe to do all the law which Moses, my servant, commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right hand. Don't deviate. Don't be diverted. Don't be distracted or to the left that thou mayest prosper. Congratulations, you will prosper. That thou mayest prosper whithersoever thou goest. Verse 9 Have I not commanded thee? Have I not commanded thee when God has given you a commandment? And you are about that business, about that work, and somebody comes to challenge you. Why are you doing that? Who sent you to do that? You point to the Almighty, the one that will crush and conquer every opposer. He told me to do it. If you have any question, ask him. If you have any misgiving, ask him. He commanded me that this is what you do. And so if you have any challenge, don't ask me, don't talk to me. Ask him. 
If you go to ask him, he will make you one of the people that will carry out the vision. Have not I commanded thee, be strong and of a good courage. Be not afraid. Lord, I am not afraid. The Lord is by my side, I'm not afraid. The Lord is going before me, I'm not afraid. The Lord is coming behind me, I'm not afraid. His umbrella is over me, I am not afraid. He that touches you, touches the apple of his eye, I am not afraid. Somebody shout, I'm not afraid. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord, thy God, is... For the Lord, thy God, is... Is with thee, whithersoever, whithersoever, whithersoever thou goest. As we're going back home today, no accident on your way. No evil personality in your way. You stand in the morning and then you have your megaphone, microphone, whatever, and you are beaming forth the gospel, no harm will come to you. In the night you are going to Bible study, you are coming from Bible study, no harm will happen to you. And you are dutiful, you are doing what God has called you to do. No evil will come upon your life in Jesus' name. His angels will surround you. His power will overshadow you. Whither thou goest, it will be with you in Jesus' name. Look at the contagious courage of a godly conqueror. Look at Joshua chapter 10. Joshua chapter 10. I'm reading from verse 12. Joshua chapter 10. And we're reading from verse 12. In verse 12, it says, Then spake Joshua to the Lord, In the day when the Lord delivered the Amorites before the children of Israel, and he said in the sight of all Israel, Son, as you end up, Stand thou still upon Gibeon. Look at the courage of the man. That not just to conquer the Canaanites, the Hivites, the Jebusites, and all those enemies, usurping the authority in the land. Now he spoke to the son, Stand thou still upon Gibeon, and thou mourn in the valley of Ajalon. And Verse 13, read it out, one, two, three, go. Again, again, one, two, three, go. He did, he did the undoable. You are going to do something. Undoable things. Well, the courage you have that the Lord has given us, you're going to command every hindrance out of the way. And they will move. Look at this, verse 13, and the sun so still. And the moon stayed until, until, until you finish hindrances out of your way. Until the people had avenged themselves upon their enemies. Is not this written in the book of Jesha? So the sun stood still in the midst of heaven and hasted not to go down about a whole day. And there was no day like that before it or after it. There was no day like that before that day or after that day that the Lord hearkened unto the voice of a man. For the Lord fought for Israel. He'll fight for you. I said he'll fight for you. 
you don't need any other thing. He has given you the promise. The promise will not fail in your life. Verse 24. In verse 24, and it came to pass when they brought out those kings unto Joshua, that Joshua called for all the men of Israel and said unto the captains of the men of war that went with him, come near, come near. Don't stay far away, come near. I said, come near. I said, come near and put your feet upon the necks of these kings. And they came near and they put their feet upon the necks of them. And Joshua said unto them, what did he say to them? What did he say to them? What did he say again? No, again, the next one. I said, what did he say again? Read on, read on, read on. What did he say? Be strong and of a good courage. What God told Joshua, he made use of that and he overcame. He said, now I know this thing will work. I give it unto you. And he hear your amen. God had told him, fear not. And now he gave it to them, fear not. God had told him, be not dismayed. And he gave it to them, not be dismayed. God had told him, be strong and of a good courage. And he told them, be strong and of a good courage. You are going home today stronger than you came. Higher than you came. More courageous than you came. More unconquerable than you came. For thus shall the Lord do to all your enemies against whom ye fight. That amen is too small. This is how God will defeat all your enemies that come against your life. You are going to be victorious. This courage in Joshua that has passed on to me to me, I said to me, will be for all of us in Jesus' name. Point number three now, the constant companionship of our glorious captain. Constant companionship. Constant companionship. The same way you have felt his presence here, that same way you will feel his presence everywhere. The strength of character you feel here in the presence of the Lord, that same strength of character you feel when the enemy comes anywhere you go in Jesus' name. The constant companionship of a glorious captain. Look at verse 5. Verse 5, there shall not any man be able to stand before thee, tell me, all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with thee. A new day has come. I will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. Look at verse 9. Have not I commanded thee, be strong and of a good courage. Be not afraid, be not afraid, be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee whithersoever thou goest. We go many places, different places. I'm going to mention something that might surprise you. You're going to your in-law to be. You want to ask the hand of their daughter in marriage. And you have heard about that father. And the person you want to get married to has been telling you, my dad is difficult. You cannot even know his mind. 
even when he wants to say yes and he wants to accept, you look at him and it's like, what are you doing here? Who told you to come to my family? You want to get my daughter? He'll bully on you. If you're not careful, you'll give up. But now you know, no matter how difficult that man, that woman, the mother, as you go there, you go with victory. You go with assurance. Has he not commanded you? Has he not given you that lady, that sister, that daughter of the Lord to be your wife? Go. The Lord will go with you. It's giving you that man, and then you are going to the marriage committee. I don't know what question they are going to ask me. Go. The Lord will be with you. You're going for an interview. I don't know what question they are going to ask me. Go, and the Lord will be with you. Have not I commanded thee, be strong and of a good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. Is the Lord speaking to you? Verse 17, verse 17, here are the people now talking to Joshua, according as we hearkened unto Moses in all things, so will we hearken unto thee. It will bend the hearts of the people towards you. It will bend the minds of the people towards you. They will not be so difficult and run you out of the calling God has given you in Jesus' name. Only the Lord thy God be with thee as he was with Moses. Look at what the people are saying. They say, all we want to know is that God is with you as he was with Moses. And we're going to be an encouragement unto you. All your discouragements are gone in Jesus' name. That's in telling you your mind, I may not succeed. Uh uh, you will succeed. It's written down in heaven by God Himself already. He is with you. You will succeed in Jesus' name. Isaiah chapter 41. Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10. Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. He will be with you. Verse 14, fear not. Thou warm Jacob, and ye men of Israel, I will help thee. Says the Lord and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, behold, I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument, having tears. The devil will not knock your tears away. Thou shalt thresh the mountains and beat them small, and thou shalt make them the hills as chaff. Thou shalt fan them, and the wind shall carry them away, and the one wind shall scatter them. And thou shalt rejoice in the Lord. God will put testimony in your mouth. And shall glory in the Holy One of Israel. The Lord is going with you. You will not fail. He will not fail you. Jeremiah, Jeremiah, chapter 1, verse 7. But the Lord said unto me, Say not, I am a child, for thou shalt go, I will go. Thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee, and whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. Be not afraid of their faces, 
for I am with thee to deliver thee says the Lord then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth and the Lord said unto me behold I have put my words in thy mouth you see there is she there the word of God is your mouth already see I have set thee this day over the nations over the kingdoms to root out to pull down to destroy to throw down to build and to plant you have a work to do it will be done verse 19 and they shall fight against thee but they shall not prevail against thee for I am with thee says the Lord to deliver thee I am delivered praise the Lord I said I'm delivered praise the Lord you are delivered praise the Lord Jeremiah chapter 15 verse 21 and I will deliver thee out of the hand of the wicked you didn't hear that one Jeremiah 15 21 and I will deliver thee out of the hand of the wicked and I will redeem thee out of the hand of the terrible you are delivered you're set free out of the hand of the terrible they will not overcome you they will not overpower you the strength of the Lord is going back home with you the power of the Lord is going back home with you victory all the way through victory all the way through chapter 31 of Jeremiah Jeremiah chapter 31 and I'm reading here from verse 11 for the Lord has redeemed Jacob and has ransomed him from the hand of him that was stronger than he stronger than he but he has delivered you but he has set you free you are no more weaker vessel I am not a weaker vessel I'm now a stronger vessel be it confirmed in your life in Jesus name second Timothy chapter 4 verse 18 second Timothy chapter 4 verse 18 and the Lord shall deliver me from every evil work and will preserve me unto his heavenly kingdom you are going to read that yourself and the Lord shall deliver me from every evil work and will preserve me unto his heavenly kingdom to whom be glory forever and ever and the church of God said it will be fulfilled in your life if we will rise up and take it to the Lord in prayer you will know the victory like you have never known victory if you will take everything and read everything and pray through everything you're going to have victory like you never had in your life if you believe the word of God it will never leave you it will never forsake you you're going to have strength overcoming strength like you never had in your life open your mouth and talk to the Lord in prayer it's a day of victory it's a day of power it's a day of overcoming it's a day of conquering it's a day for the champion open your mouth open your mouth and talk to the lord in prayer supernatural victory spiritual victory spectacular victory open your mouth and let him hear you moses is gone joshua is here 
Elijah is gone, Elisha is here. As I was with them, so I will be with you. They didn't see him physically, but he heard his word, and they believed that word, and that word became yes and amen in their lives. You have not seen God in the physical. You have heard his word. He has assured you he will not fail you. He has assured you he will not let you down. He has assured you no enemy will stand before you. He has assured you you are going to be victorious. He has assured you today will be greater than yesterday. Hold on to that word. Nobody will conquer you. Hold on to that word. Nobody will defeat you. Hold on to that word. The day of your birth is recorded in heaven. And the day when you are going to leave the earth is recorded in heaven. No demon will change your date. No Satan will change your date. Everything you are supposed to do. As you go into the land, the land of the Canaanites and the Hebrides and the Jebusites, everything you are going to accomplish, the Lord has recorded it in the book of God in heaven. There's no demon, there's no Satan that can go there and change your destiny. Tell him. Tell him, Lord, I believe. Tell him, Lord, I accept. They will not stand before you and you will not crumble and cringe before them. You will not fall. No, you cannot fall. He has raised you up. He has called you up. He has given you duty. He has given you assignment. It will be done. It will be done. This land will be covered. This land will be evangelized. This land will be harvested. Nothing stands before you to hinder you or to disturb you. Are you a pastor? You'll be a successful pastor. Are you a worker? You'll be a victorious worker, profitable worker, productive worker. You will overcome. You have overcome already. Everything that stands before you is going to destroy, overcomer. Whatever wants to ruin your family, overcomer. And whatever wants to spoil the work of God in your hand, you are overcomer. Pharaoh will be drowned in the sea. Nebuchadnezzar will be driven to the wilderness, to the forest. Herod will be eating of worms, and you will keep on standing. He has called you, he has called you, he has called you. Let no weak person, an ant, a cockroach, a little thing somewhere, make you to back out from the calling of God upon your life. Don't turn to the right, don't turn to the left. The community is waiting for you. We're waiting for the champion. Your community is waiting for you. We're waiting for the conqueror. We're waiting for the overcomer. Brother, rise up, take the challenge. Take the bull by the horn, move on. Victory has come. Sister, Rise up and look at the duty. Eyeball to eyeball and say, yes, I come. This is what I was appointed for. Moses is gone. Joshua, rise up and do the work he has called you to do. Jesus will never leave you. He's a captain of your salvation. The Lord will never leave you. He's the commander of his people. The Lord is more than a conqueror. And you are by his side, a companion to him. 
you will not fail. If you will not fail, you will not fail. If you cannot be distracted, you will not be distracted. You will overcome. You will overcome with Christ by your side, with the Lord going before you, with the promises of God as yes and amen. You must overcome. You must overcome. You must overcome. Like Joshua walked and stepped on the heads and the necks of the enemies, you will walk and step on the necks of those enemies. As God gave him the victory, he has given you the victory. Go ahead and conquer. Go ahead and possess. Ask of me, the heathens for the inheritance. And I will give you all their territory. I'll make you victorious, conquerors, conqueror, make you an overcomer, make you a champion. His power abides, remains with you. In Jesus' name we pray. I cannot see failure in front of anyone. I cannot see fear on the face of anyone. I cannot see defeat in the life of anyone. I cannot see turning to the right, turning to the left, and being distracted in the life and ministry of anyone. I see victory ahead of you. I see power ahead of you. I see authority coming out of your mouth. I see answered prayer. I see answered prayer. I see conquering and conquering and conquering. It has happened on your behalf in Jesus' name. Whatever conquered you before, you will conquer. Every sin, you will conquer. Every sickness, you will conquer. Every demon, you will conquer. Every power of the enemy, you will conquer. I see achievers before me. Who is there? What's your name? Achiever. I said, what's your name? Conqueror. What's your name? Overcomer. What's your name? It is done. I said, it is done. I said, it is done. Everywhere you go, if there's a river on cross -table, before you get there, God will make a bridge over there. You're passing over to the victory side. Passing over to the conqueror side. Passing over to the overcomer side. Be not afraid. Be not dismayed. The Almighty God is with you whithersoever, wherever you go. It will start from tonight. As you are going, it will clear every stumbling block out of your way in Jesus' name. I receive. What are you? I receive. Father, in Jesus' name. We thank you for the calling you have given us tonight. And we thank you for the promise you have given us tonight. You are not a man that will lie. 
Now the son of man that you all deceive, have you promised? It shall be done. You have said you are going to clear every stumbling block, every enemy, every challenge out of the way of your people. Confirm it, Lord, in Jesus' name. Whatever any brother, any sister, boy or girl, whatever anyone feared in the past, those things now will fear them in Jesus' name. The things that pursued them before, we turn around, we're going to pursue those things, we're going to conquer them in Jesus' name. Every place the sole of your foot shall tread upon, every door your hand will knock at, every sinner you will talk to, every backslider you will talk to, the Lord will soften their heart and give them to Christ through you in Jesus' name. Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. If that sickness is on you, or your wife, or your husband, or your child, or your parent, and you open your mouth to say, go, that sickness will go in Jesus' name. Any demon attack, any demon oppression, any demon affliction. Oh Lord, I pray as your people one by one, they open their mouths courageously and they tell that demon and they tell that spirit, go, they will go in Jesus' name. No enemy will stand before you. No oppressor will stand before you. No persecutor will stand before you. No magician or cultic person will stand before you. You're moving on into a new level of victory, a new level of power, a new level of overcoming. The miracle you have never seen before, you will see. The majesty of the Lord you have not seen before, you will see. What I have never seen. What years have never heard, what has never been revealed to the hearts of men, as you love the Lord, as you fear the Lord, as you are claiming the promise of God, as you are moving on in the work of God, you will see in Jesus' name. The Lord will never leave you. His power will never leave you. His grace will never leave you. Companionship will never leave you no failure again no fear again no famine again you will prosper you will succeed you will overcome it is registered in heaven it will be recorded in your life we well, thank you lord because we know you have answered in Jesus' name we pray.
take absolute control throughout tonight prayer meeting in Jesus' name. Amen. And I also want to encourage our brothers, our sisters, every prayer item we give out from here, I want to encourage us we should re-pray because uh, prayer uh, talk nights today and pray, prayer bring deliverance and true prayer there is dominion because if we are not praying it will not be good at the end of the prayer meeting but when we pray we will be able to have testimony the reason why people do not have testimony is because they don't pray they don't pray and it's more observation that often in prayer online people will just emote yourself having a nice time and they will not pray. But tonight, as we pray, I'm telling you, prayer is the start to walk with God. And prayer is the weapon of the Christian. And I'm believing God tonight, as we see the face of God, the strength of God, the power of God will be released upon our life. And everyone will receive deliverance, vibration in our Amen. life in Jesus. Amen. Amen. Uh, let's go to God in prayer now. As other people join us, please, I expect everybody to emote yourself. Except you are in your place of work, you're in the car, you're on the road. Except, but if, if you are at home, home, please, you should also emote yourself so that so we can so flow together in the spirit of prayer and the Lord will work mightily mm -hmm. upon our life. Let's pray together. Our Father and our God, the ancients of days, we thank you so much for the gift of life. And there is no one we can compare with you. The great God, the mighty God, the almighty, the I am that I am, the unbeatable, the creator of the heavens and the earth. We worship you. Father, receive our praises and thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We thank you for another opportunity for us to see today. We thank you for the activity that you able to assist us. We thank you for every place we went to where you brought us back home. We bless your name for our family. We bless your name for the work of our hands. We bless your name for everything you have been accomplishing in our life. We thank you for the angel that go before us. Tonight as we talk, to pray, Father, I am asking that any battle anyone is going through, I pray, after tonight's conference prayer meeting, I pray there will be release, there will be deliverance, there will be liberation, there will be dominion, there will be freedom upon every one of us in this prayer online in Jesus' name. Amen. Spirit of the living God, we are trusting in you. We are believing in you. And we know that you are our strength. You are our power. You are our comforter. We are asking, Spirit of the living God, we look up for you, the strength we need to pray. You will pour upon us the spirit of prayer. Amen. 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 The devil is alive. Walk mightily upon our life more than never before. In Jesus' name. Amen. We trust you will not fail. We trust your power, we assist us. As we continue tonight, we ask the Father prayer all the way to your hand. We pray that you will take absolute control of tonight's prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. In Thank Jesus' you, name, we pray. Amen. Let's open our mouth. Let's appreciate God. Let's thank Him for another opportunity. Let's thank Him today. Let's give Him the glory. There is no one we can compare with our God. Lord of my soul, and all that is with you, Lord, thank you for everything. Let's appreciate the King of Kings. Thank you, faithful Father. Appreciate the Lord of Lords. Let's give Him the glory. Is the Oba Shama, is the King of Kings, is the Lord of Lords, 
is the lion Father, of the tribe of Judah. Father, is the greater than the Your greatest. He cannot compare anyone with him. Bless the Lord, all oh my soul, and Lord, all that is within me. Bless you, holy name. Lord, we want to thank you for your people in our life. Lord, we want to thank you for your preservation in our life. Lord, we want to thank you for your giving power in our life. Lord, we appreciate you for your kindness, for your goodness, for your faithfulness, for your preservation, for your protection, for your mercy over our life, over our family. Who can we compare with you? There is no one that compare with you. Thank you, Father, for what I'm Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your love. We thank you for your grace in our life. Let's thank you for your compassion in our life. Lord, we thank you for your loving kindness in our life. Lord, we thank you for your love because of your mercy. We are not consumed. Lord, we thank you for providing all our needs for us. Your goodness and Lord, we appreciate you. Lord, we thank you for Jesus. Thank you for giving us the Lord, we, Lord, we exalt you. Lord, Lord, we magnify you. Thank you. You are worthy to be You are worthy to be great. You are worthy to be You are the over child. You are the over elder. We appreciate you. You are worthy to be great. We glorify you. We give all the honor. We give all the adoration. Glory be to your name. Honor be to your name. Thank you for the grace given to every one of us today. We appreciate your name for everything you are doing. Thank you for the redemption in our You are worthy to our God. Bless the Lord. Our God is good. 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 What a powerful God we have. We bless you. To the glory of the Lord, be exalted. Thank you, O Lord Jehovah. Thank you, Lord Ayam and Ayam. Thank you, Lord Mighty and Mighty. Let's say, see your kings of glory. God is the mighty God. Mighty man in You bring God together for a purpose. You are such a great for 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 your purpose. The Ayam that Ayam. The El Shaddai. The Omni Present and Omni Time. The Omni Every eye from the devil. We lift up every part of the I want to what a great God we serve. What a powerful God we serve. In the name of the Lord. We destroy by your power. We cancel by your power. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. The Bible says, Bless the Lord, O my soul. And Lord, that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgiveth all thy iniquity, who healeth all thy diseases, who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercy, who satisfy thy mouth with good things, so that your youth is renewed like the eagle. Let's worship him. Let's bless him. Forget not all his benefit. Open Amen. your mouth. Appreciate him for the benefit of his loving kindness. Appreciate him for the benefit of his of your The Bible says, 
the horse is prepared against the day of battle. For safety, For safety is of the, of the Lord. Lord. The horse is prepared against the day of battle. For safety is of the Lord. In Isaiah chapter 9, verse 5. Isaiah chapter 9, verse 5. The Bible says, For every battle of the warrior, Every battle of the warrior, the mm -hmm. Bible say it with confused noise mm -hmm. and garment mm -hmm. growing in blood. Mm -hmm. Every battle of the warrior is with confused noise, and the horse mm -hmm. is prepared against the day of battle. Tonight, mm -hmm. I'm addressing and you tonight, silencing the battle of life. Silent the battle of life. That is the brief exhortation I want to exhort us before we go into Silent. prayer tonight. Because Silent. life instead is a battle. Life generally is a battle. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. The battle of life is as old as creation. Battle of life started from creation. When it was void and of no fall, there was darkness everywhere before God command the light. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. We see that in Genesis chapter 1 verse 3. But the battle increased after the fall of man in the garden of Adam. As it is not enough, which crap power take over after Satan lost out in heaven. Satan and his fallen angel were the battle of men and women, mm. old and young children, and of the rest of the day. Battle of life is not what we fight and and, and, and stay calm and quit. No, battle of life is not a tea of time. Do you know? It is a continual thing, a constant battle because it is loaded with spiritual warfare. It is in the warfare battle, deep secret I review. It is in the warfare battle, battle award. It is in the warfare battle, deliverance is achieved. It is in the warfare battle, great door being locked by which power is being opened. And you know today, men and brethren, battle is everywhere. As you fight battle of life, are you one? Ensure your focus on heaven. It is not until you fight, you wrestle your life from Satan captivity. And make heaven know the battle is won. Yeah. There is a battle going on every day of your life. And therefore, we must fight in this spiritual battle as Christian warriors. Because every, every battle, battle of a warrior of is with confusion. As Christian warriors, you do not laugh with enemy. You do not laugh with witch doctors. You do not laugh with evil prince, antichrist, and the rest. You must fight them in the spirit until they surrender their bow and they lay down their evil weapon. That is warfare. That is warfare prayer. And that's the type of prayer we're going to pray tonight. Until we, we defeat every enemy of personal progress, every enemy of personal breakthrough will not rest. And they must surrender their weapon and victory will be yours in Jesus' name. Amen. Brethren, you must not be a captive in the hand of the enemy. You are liberated. But many mm. are captivity in the camp of the enemy. Captivity has led in the spirit and is led hardly up back a camp. A slave is always under a slave master. The slave fights an unended battle of life. This is, this is because he is down as a result of multiply, multiplicity arrow fighting against him. You hardly smile, such people hardly smile because the pool of sadness and of our their life to this end. Men and brethren, brothers in the Lord, you must pray. You must command. You must decree. You must fight bad in the spirit. And you 
must win in the battle of life. In every warfare battle, let us speak good things into your life. In every warfare battle, let us prophesy good things into your life. You shall go as we go into prayer. You ensure yourself that all the prayer points I'm going to give tonight, you must pray those prayer with zeal and power. As you pray tonight, you will overcome every battle. You will silence the enemy of your life. You will not be the same again in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Listen to me. Many years ago, before I release you to pray, hear this testimony. Life is about to. Many years ago, a sister came for a prayer to the man of God. And this man of God told this sister, and then the Lord speaks to the sister. This woman standing before you is having a great challenge in life. Help him in prayer. And the pastor told him by 12 a.m. in the midnight, start praying from 12 to 12.30. The sister began to pray from 12 to 12.30 for deliverance, for breakthrough. He was praying, he was praying, he was praying. He was praying. He was praying. So before they began to tap, tap back, and the sister looked, he looked back. He saw somebody. Tapping her on, on her back. Who are you? Why do you get to this house? He said, don't worry. He said, let's negotiate. He said, negotiate of what? What you are praying for? The prayer you are praying, he has damaged many of her army. And this, Ooh. as Randy was saying, he said that if you stop praying, I will give you your, 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 your the husband you are looking for. You're looking if, you for praying, if you stop praying, praying all, praying, those, all things, those things, I will miss them for you. The sister said, no negotiation. In the name mm. of Jesus, I command fire to consume you. All of a sudden, the man disappeared in the house. He, he mm. began to pray. The pastor told him to pray from 12 a.m. to 12.30. He prayed that prayer till 6, 6 a.m. in the morning. I mean, he's not sleeping. He's not, I mean, I mean, really, really view revelation. And when that sister pray, the sister got the victory. <laughs> Happen, that is how God does supply those prayer answers. What am I saying? Life is a battle. I pray for you. Every power assigned to stop your star, those power mm. will die tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Open your mouth, begin to appreciate the Lord. Open your mouth and say, God, I want to thank you once again. I want to bless you for the redemption of my soul. It's a time for prayer. And I want you to pray tonight. Please feel good to yourself. Do yourself help tonight. This is not deep prayer. This is not change to my prayer. He moved yourself. He moved yourself and pray. Let the Lord all my soul worship the Lord. Give the Lord the glory to you on my name. You are the lily in the Because the Lord is going to come to the greatest level. You are the great one that I am. Because the Lord is going to transport you to the next level. Tonight I'm telling you every battle in your life what God wants to do. Every prayer I do tonight you will pray. We share the new phone. If you pray, you will have the new phone. This is not deep prayer. This is the first God. This is the first God prayer. Outside of the phone. You must find it. Every part of your marriage, every part of your spirit, every part of your the world is silent tonight. It's a night of your jubilee. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. We praise you. Amen. I want to hear your amen like a warrior. Amen. amen. In Jesus name. Amen. You are going to pray. Amen. You are going to ask the Lord. The Bible says, Who can understand his error? Cleanse down me from every single sin. We don't want any sin to hinder us. We don't want any sin to present me before you. Oh God, cleanse me and touch me from every sin in my life and touch me out of my life. Use the blood of Jesus to wash every spot, every wrinkle, every sin. Touch my heart, touch my soul, touch my spirit. Those that iniquity will not hinder and bring us. 
in that prayer. All of us, Lord, tonight you must have the testimony tonight. Tonight you must have the testimony tonight. As the Lord supports you, as the Lord will cleanse you, as the Lord will purify you, as the blood of Jesus Christ that was shed for the Son of God to wash every spot and every ripple and every blemish out of your life. Because tonight will be your night of testimony. If you can pray, he moves yourself. He moves yourself. He moves yourself. It's not quiet time prayer. It's a quiet prayer. It's not quiet time prayer. It's silent in the battle of life. Silent in the battle of life. Call upon the Lord and call upon the Lord. Because you like it. Your night of testimony. I can be called. I bless you. The Holy Lord. Lord, you cover this with me. In the name of Jesus. We pray. 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 And oh multiply God. your love and favor upon my life. Father God, I am here to go. Oh God, I am here to go. 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 I am here I need a louder amen. Amen. The Bible says, see, my brothers and my sister, this prayer online I am giving out. Please pray this prayer because the Lord, 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 the and these signs shall surely follow them that believe. Yes. These signs shall surely follow them. You are going to pray. Holy Spirit, revive my soul. Let breakthrough follow me. Holy Spirit, revive my soul. Let miracle follow me. Holy oh, Spirit, revive my soul. This time, I show them who love them. You are going to ask the Lord, pray for us to follow you. This time, I show them who love them. You are going to ask the Lord that revive us and follow you. Pray for us and follow you. Pray for us and follow you. Oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, who is the Spirit of God? This time, I show them who love them. Oh God, in our spirit, I show them who love them. Let me follow you. 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 